In, in this practical, we'll be implementing the shortest common superstring uh, using just a brute force method to check all the possible combinations of reads. Um, so to do this, we're going to use the overlap, um, the overlap function from a previous practical. So I've already pasted that in here. We're also going to use the permutations function, which we uh, saw in our previous practical. So I'm going to import uh, iter tools. And I'm going to define a function SES that will give me the shortest common superstring of a set of strings SS. And so I'm going to start by just defining my shortest superstring uh, just as none. I'm going to say for each uh, string, uh, set of strings, for each permutation of set of strings in iterTools.permutations SS. So when I don't have a diff uh, second argument in permutations, it will give me all of the complete permutations of this list. So this will return every possible ordering of the reads in this list. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through every one of these permutations and try to put these reads together in order, in the order that I have, and see what the length of that superstring is. And I'm going to just keep doing that until I get the shortest, um, the shortest one that I can, can find. Mm -hmm. So I, ha I have this permutation of strings. I'm going to set uh, my superstring is going to start out by just being the first string in that list. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to loop through every other string in that list and append them onto this. I'm going to say for i in range up to the number of strings minus one. Uh, since we've already had the first string, we can skip that one. I'm going to find the overlap length between the current string and the next one. So I'm going to get the i string, the i plus one string. I'm going to set the min length to be one. And now I'm going to take my superstring and append onto it um, the part of the next string that doesn't overlap that. So that's going to be the suffix from the overlap length uh, to the end, just like that. Yeah. And so now, once I finish this, I've concatenated all of these strings, overlapping them as much as I can to get the superstring. Uh, now I want to test if this superstring is smaller than the shortest one I've seen so far. So I'm going to say if my shortest superstring is none or the length of my current superstring is less than the length of the shortest superstring, then I'm just going to replace the shortest superstring with my superstring. Yeah. And then when I'm done, I just return the shortest superstring that I've seen. So that loop is going to loop a large number of times, right? If we have n strings, it's going to loop n factorial times. But one of those iterations is going to give us the shortest possible superstring. So we'll, we'll return that, and that's the right answer. Mm -hmm. So now I can uh, just run this function on a set of strings. And so I have my strings here. This is the shortest common superstring. So you can see the third string here uh, overlaps with, by four characters with this string here. So it goes first. And then the first string overlaps the second string by about four characters. Um, so it's combined them like that and given us the shortest superstring that we can get from these reads. Mm -hmm.